Weebies, welcome back to my channel. Uh, your girl is having a self-care Sunday, if you will, I guess. Let's call it that. Let's call it that. Yep, we're calling it that. Um, but anyway, I am at Sonic right now. I want to hit the mall up right after this. I did just order my food already, so I'm going to have that with you guys. Um, I, want to, I wanted to go to the mall. Um, I have to go to Walmart also. Let me raise this window up. I don't know if you guys can hear. And then maybe to take a walk on the um, riverfront. We'll see. Because it's already 5 p.m., okay? Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, just come spend a day with me, really. Um, I really do have to catch you guys up. Actually, I can go ahead and do a little pregnancy update, if you will, in this car right now. I am currently almost 30 weeks. So, I miss like two weeks I think 2025 20, no I missed three going on three because I'm 27 weeks as of today in like five days so tomorrow I'll be 28 weeks um, but anyway I think the last update I did was like uh, my 10 week to 15 week because I'm doing it in five weeks increments um, so yeah so from 15 to 27 basically is what I'm gonna be covering and honestly I want to start saying that this pregnancy has my all-time best pregnancy of all four other children that I have at home with me and it's insane it's like mind-blowing to me I don't know I don't know why I don't know why my steering wheel is up so high hold on guys how do I put this down it's not like my Outlander. What? Oh, there it is. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Um, but yes, this pregnancy just has been the most um, active. I've been active in all of my pregnancy, like taking daily walks, um, getting up, bathing myself, doing, you know, the essential things of life. But this one, I have worked my whole pregnancy so far. Thank God. <clears throat> um... I have been sick, like nause nauseated and like um, fatigue and headaches, but that's, I feel like that stuff that comes along with the pregnancy anyway. So it's not like outside of that. I have not been like, um, what, like lightheaded. Um, I have not been like dizziness, just unable to eat, um, any of the abnormal things I feel like like the like bad pregnancy technically okay just like I haven't had um a terrible pre pregnancy at all it hasn't been bad I've been enjoying the whole pregnancy hint hint on why I haven't made an update video um but anyway like I said um so 15 week from from 15 weeks or 16 if you want to say technically to 27 week honestly the only thing that I have had um, stay consistent and this second trimester is like headaches like bad ones not just like a headache this is almost like a migraine if you will um, I got sick like three weeks no not even three like two and a half weeks ago and when I say I think I had COVID I had some kind of virus. I'm not even joking. My body was aching. Uh, my head was, oh my God, my head was terrible. Like, I had, I don't take medication. If it's not like something prescribed to me um, because I need, I absolute need this, um, I'm not taking medication. So I don't take any of the ibuprofen, Advil, Tylenol, any of that. When I say I had to have my friend bring me Tylenol, through the night the headache I had when I was I just had this virus I don't know what it was it was off the chain oh, I cried it was so bad uh -oh. <clears throat> but yeah even after like well even before like getting sick I still like had migraines it was some days I would wake up for work because I was working the 4 a.m. my 4 a.m. shift it was some days that I would wake up I think this is my, yeah, my food is coming. Hold on, guys. Let me pay her. It'd be 11 .69. Can I give you 12? Yep. Okay. Mm hmm Here you go. 
Thank you. Have a great day. You too, thanks. She was pretty. Um, but anyway, like uh, before, like I was saying, before I got sick, um, the headaches I would still have like every, every once in a while, I would wake up for work and I would have like a freaking migraine. And some little kids walking by. Hi, how are you? Good. Mm. Teeth. Um, so I feel like the headaches has been like off the chain this pregnancy. And that's the only thing that been like consistent. Um, I did grow overnight. <clears throat> so from 16 weeks up into 27, I like blew up like a, like a balloon. Like everyone at work has been like, oh, you grew overnight like literally I feel like I grew overnight like I feel like you guys only seen like a bump only because I was doing my update videos at night once I after I had dinner you know so it was like it was already like blow bloatedness um, fullness and then on top of that my uterus growing um, but yeah I definitely grew overnight I'm gonna give try to give you guys a bump update I feel like I do in every video so you should know what it looked like but I'll do it anyway um, and what else I did reach into six reaching into six months I did kind of go back into my um, symptoms that I was having in my first trimester like cravings um, I was craving mayo real bad like <laughs> I was putting it on cakes donuts um anything basically french fries my meals dinner lunch breakfast everything had to have mayo i feel like that kind of came back because now i'm at work eating pizza with mayo again or donuts with mayo um i'm gonna have to change my battery so i'll be right back okay i'm back um but like i was saying some of the symptoms came back um once i reached my six month mark which i I think it's like 20 something weeks uh, I, I think it's 25 or so, I don't know one or two 25 or 23 uh, weeks it's reaching six months but anyway yeah so I had all my cravings back from the first trimester um, then I was puking so like things that I ate and baby didn't like she said nope <laughs> But it wasn't as bad as the first trimester, so I'll take it. It was just like um, different uh, meals that I had during the um, day, and she didn't like, so we threw it up. Um, also, what else? Um, I don't think I had any. Well, I did start to swell it, swell up. Like I work um, mid shift now. So like I'll go to work and once I come home, I'll clean up and feed the dogs, take the dogs out, get the kids bathed, um, fed and everything. And at the end of the night, I would be so swollen, not so swollen. I think I'm being dramatic. I would just be like puffy. Like, you know, when you can feel your hands, like my rings would be stuck. Um, my feet would be aching and that just started recently, honestly. So that's like 26 to 27 week kind of thing. Um, so I'm like, shoot, and your girl is still working full time as of right now <clears throat> because my body is not giving me signs that I need to slow down. But once I just start like, um, hit 27 weeks, I'm just like, uh, I think I'm going to have to cut back on my days because your girl is swelling up, which that's what it says in my, um, it's what expect at, it says that swelling is due to come. Um, if you sit too long, stand too long, things of that nature. And I am always moving to, from sun up to sundown. <laughs> so I know I knew that was coming. <clears throat> um, but other than that, it's, like I said, it's been a really good pregnancy. Thank the Lord. <laughs> because I, could, I don't think I could mentally do it. I think I would be mentally in a bad space if I was to have a, a, like a terrible pregnancy. On top of my fiance being like freaking three hours away work for work um, and not here with me, I think I would be like mentally, maybe not because I do see a therapist, but I would still have some of that, you know, emotional kind of stuff going on mentally. So 
thank God I have a decent pregnancy so I can, you know, have a clear mind, clear head and things of that nature. Um, so yeah, that's really pretty much it that I need to update you guys on uh, with the, the pregnancy itself. Um, also, I feel like we have gotten everything that we need for baby girl other than like diaper bag, pacifier, pacifier holder, um, little stuff that we can get. I feel like last minute, but I'm not going to wait last minute, okay? <laughs> but anyway, guys, on to the next subject. I, your girl got some cheese sticks. Not a good cheese pool, but they're still hot. I don't know why. They didn't give me a cheese pool. Got that. With some marinara, I hope. Yes. And I want to try these chili cheese um, potato tots. Is that what they call potato tots? Yeah. We got tots up there, but it's potato. I have been having pregnancy brain, though. And I'm I'm normally really good at remembering things, but girl, I've been butchering everything. <clears throat> I've been butchering dates, times on my appointment. Yeah. But anyway, this is what the chili cheese tots look like. Looks like a mess. It's really hot. I like that it's fresh here, though. And you don't have to ask McDonald's, Taco Bell. I'm not throwing any shade or anything. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh no. It's actually given tasteless. If I can be honest. But yeah, guys, this pregnancy is flying by, I feel like. And that's probably, I should see my neighbor. And that's probably because I'm enjoying it. <clears throat> but I feel like it's flying by so fast. I did the other day so I got two puppies um one is the Bernie Doodle and then the other is a Yorkie mixed with a Shih Tzu um why the other day I found out I thought I had two girl dogs because obviously I don't want a boy and a girl dog because out of the risk of having babies so I wanted two girl dogs why the other day did I find out one of my dogs is a male? Yeah. That was my same reaction. What do you mean you're a, a, a male? I named her Nala. I have freaking got pink toys, pink collars, pink tags. It's hectic. Anyway. I called the establishment that sold me the dog. And I told them like, okay, your website said this dog was a girl. This contract you gave me to sign says this dog is a girl. I wanted a girl dog, you know? what's the process this is what I asked the owner what's your process of getting these animals do you breed he's like no he don't breed so you get them from a breeder does the breeder do all of the vet and all of the deworming all of that shit and you know classify them for genders oh yeah the the, the breeder does that Now, I've never worked with dogs. I'm not a vet, not trained for any of that. You're telling me that I can open up a shop if I have the license to do the business that you're doing. I can open up a shop not knowing at least 
Oh. This breeder told me this dog was a girl. And I can clearly see that it's a boy. That's not okay. I'm traumatized. I'm emotionally fucked up behind it because, like I said, I don't want any babies to be made between the two puppies. <clears throat> and I'm more of a girl's girl. <laughs> so I, he asked me, like, how can we fix it and shit or whatever. He was like, just bring the dog back in. I'll give you the same breed of the dog, but a female. And I said, how are you going to know that it's a female if you didn't know this time? Just being smart, I guess. And he's like, well, you can check before you leave and this, that, and the third. And I said, okay. I agreed to, like, bringing him back. But then, the next day, I put him outside. Like, I separated him from my other puppy. Because... She's currently in heat. And he cried the whole day. Literally. Cried. So I'm like, now he already has separation anxiety for me. And then like if my fiance is like walking him and I'm walking uh, my other puppy, he like whines for me. So it's like, do you really want to put him through that? I'm not gonna put him through that if that answers any if anybody wondering I'm not gonna sit I'm not gonna do that because I feel like we both grown so you know even though it's only been a couple weeks but still so yeah I'm stuck with a male dog which I guess was supposed to happen because nothing happens in a coincidence so what that I was just letting you guys know the scoop on that <laughs> it was just amazing to me because I'm like are you serious I got this I didn't get this dog from an uh, inside breeder I mean inside an uh, in-house breeder or anything like that I actually went to a facility where they, they have all these beautiful dogs I learned my lesson. I did. That's what I can say. I did do that. So, you live and you learn. I still love him. Like, he's a she. So, don't worry, guys. He's still getting the same love as if he was Nala. But I, I don't know what to call him. I still call him Nala. <laughs> and I think that's just going to happen for a couple more weeks. Even my kids are like, no, look, stop. sorry, mom. I'm just like, don't say sorry to me. Say sorry to him. We're all sorry. We didn't know. Oh. I came here the other night. Was it Friday? It was Friday night. It was late, but still. You're open. I came in the other night, Friday, to get a slushie. And they had me sit at the window for like over 15 minutes. While I'm sitting, I'm literally staring through the window and they window and they're doing everything but making the slushie and bringing it to me. Did I get mad? Heck no. It was a sign. I didn't need it. So I'm like, oh, I'll just come back another day. I don't think they want to serve me. Oh, I forgot about the, the tots. They're so tasteless. Like, man.
I always get outside and say I'm gonna do so much, but then I start missing my, my babies. So I'm like, I'm going home. That's how I feel right now. It's like, what are they doing? Like, bro, just chill. Okay, guys, we made it to Wally World. I skipped them off. Um, I'll go another day when I'm off this week. But we made it to Walmart. And I'm coming here for the puppies, really. So, yeah. Because Nala is not Nala. Okay, I'm gonna get a cart because every time I come here, I feel like I never get a cart and I always need one. Well, I'll get one from down here. Oh, I need mascara. I know that. Laura, Maybelline, Laurel. Laurel, is it L'Oreal? Laurel. How do you say that one? I don't know. I'm butchering it. I know that. Hmm. I normally get this one, but I feel like I want to try another one. Sixteen dollars for what? Oh, double pack. I'm gonna save it, baby. Uh, mm -mm. very black, pink air. Oh, it's pink, girl. Yeah. Okay, I need that, and um, I need. I feel like I want to get freaking um air wicks every time I come in this damn thing. Look at this. I clear my outside with this. Mm. I feel like I should get one just in case, but. I'm a pass. I actually need some of this though for the carpet. Uh, oh shit, this is the only one I can reach and I hate getting the first thing of anything. Gross. I'm gonna get that one. Carpet Odor Eliminator Island Mist. Last and Fresh for Toughness. What's the flavor of it? The scent, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna get this purple. Okay, we're gonna get that. And I need some freaking candles. That's what I need. I need to go in the candle aisle. Hopefully I remember. Garbage bag. I'm gonna need some more dishwashing pots. I've been using my dishwasher, so yeah. Cause your girl is like, I gotta slow down. Something gotta get you. Okay, so. I wish I knew someone who <laughs> had a dishwasher. I think my sister does. I should call her right now, right now. She probably don't know. She probably don't use it. I feel like no no black person use um, <laughs> dishwashers. I feel like we use it to dry the dishes, never to like actually wash them. So can this stuff go in? If someone sees this and you know, please don't be an ass white. Please comment and tell me. <clears throat> so the, the power dry goes in and also the pot go in, right? That's why they have like three different compartments, right? I don't know. I'm just gonna try it at home and see how it comes out, okay? Cause yeah, let's read this first because easy to use, refill monthly. Refill monthly, it's crazy. You can use this for months, like, oh. That's crazy. That's crazy. Loads based on average rinse aid. Release of lead-in dishwashers. That's not telling me anything. Directions to use. Fill the rinse aid dispender, dispenser on your dishwasher door. Do not overfill. Wipe up any spilled product. Oh, so I guess you can get like... It says 80 loads. We're gonna do this one. Do I have finish or cascade? Girl, I think I got finish. Girl, I don't know. People were walking past. I had to put my hand on the camera. 
Okay, I think I got finished. If I don't got finished, I'm about to get finished, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna get this, and we're good, I think. Oh. Is that one girl on TikTok? A quiet. $50 worth of stuff. So dramatic. I feel like I want one of these, but I don't know. Oh, the dog bowls. Let me grab one. Let me see. The cheapest one, love. No, no, you're fine. 138. There you go. Doggies. Excuse me. Oh, I'm no, you're not. I feel like I should get these harness for the puppies now because they drag me so bad it's crazy isn't that what's what harness is for to keep them like i don't know but we're gonna get them. The pink one. huh get the pink one. Oh yeah i am and then i need pets <clears throat> they're right here so lavender leak free I got the spray at home and I swear when you spray the um, spot that the dog pooped, I mean, urinated, it smells like ammonia. I'm just saying, and Noel needs these. They're $7. Small. Wow. Oop, thought I threw it up there. Okay, I'm spending all my money on this dog. Let me get out of here. A treat. I'm gonna grab some treats, then I'm done, guys. Mm -mm -mm. They love these things. Okay, we're done. I got five hundred dollars worth. This is gonna be five hundred bucks. Watch. Crazy, and I need some freaking. Mm. It's called um, paper towels. Paper towel. Paper towel. Paper towel. <clears throat> okay, I'm out of here. Let me see if my possessive fiance. Fiance Romy. He did it. First time for everything. Okay guys, I'm gonna go check out and I'll see you guys.